You're watching Channel Across the Illawarra, South Coast and Southern Highlands, this is Wind News. Tonight, local reflections on a life well lived after the death of Elizabeth II. Volunteer fireys climb the ladder to be crowned state champions. And a must win for the Dragons over the Broncos in the NRLW. Good evening, I'm Bruce Roberts. Also tonight, plans ramp up to offer empty holiday houses as long-term rentals to ease our homelessness crisis. She's the only monarch most of us have known, Queen Elizabeth II, a constant in our lives for 70 years and a staunch defender of democracy. Illawarra locals are among the many mourning the loss of the much-loved and respected monarch. The Wollongong welcome. That's exactly what Queen Elizabeth II received when she visited the Illawarra not once, but twice. That inward sense of loyalty to the throne and all that it means was never more clearly shown than here in the city of Wollongong, New South Wales, Australia, Thursday, February the 11th, 1954. The news of Her Majesty passing at the age of 96, sending shockwaves throughout the region. After 70 years and 215 days, on the throne, we've lost our beloved Queen. Um, definitely an um, outpouring of emotion. She's been really one in a million and she's led the country and her family very well. In celebration of her life, a tea party with scones and jam as the ladies of the Country Women's Association reflected on growing up under her rule. I can remember watching the coronation on television. Um, we didn't have television at the time. Uh, we all crammed into a neighbour's place and it was a screen about, about this big, about so square, and it was black and white. She has been a stalwart of my life forever. And um, I was, I think I was named after her. She's been a mother, a grandmother, a head of state, and she's never faltered. Her Majesty graced us with her presence in 1954. Thousands turning up to see the Queen, the roars of the crowd heard far and wide. She returned again in April 1970. And for those lucky enough to see her during one of the 16 times she visited Australia, it's something they won't forget. She was very, very friendly. Uh, she was very engaging. She really was a well-rounded queen. Flags were flown at half-mast out the front of council offices, a region mourning with the rest of the country, if not the world. As we mourn, we should also take inspiration and give thanks to the remarkable contribution Her Majesty has made. May she rest in peace. Zoe Martin, Wind News. The Prime Minister has suspended Parliament for the next fortnight out of respect for Queen Elizabeth II. Speaking to the nation, Anthony Albanese described it as a morning of profound sadness for the world and all Australians. The PM honouring the monarch for her seven decades of service over self. Flags flying at half-mast across the nation out of respect. Today marks the end of an era, the close of the second Elizabethan age. This time of mourning will pass, but the deep respect and warm regard in which Australians have always held for Her Majesty will never fade. May she rest in eternal peace. The Governor-General and Prime Minister will travel to London in the coming days to meet with King Charles III. Details about Queen Elizabeth's memorial and funeral will be shared over the next 48 hours. A statewide operation is underway as police from...